What do you do, Dr. Phil, Anne would like to know is how do you deal with family members that don't share the same values when you're raising children? When you've got a difference, when you've got that difference of opinion from your in-laws or your, you know, so they're not your immediate family, <coughs> but you've got people chiming in around you and how to raise your kids. Uh, who asked that? Anne, Anne K. Anne K, okay, Anne K, look. <clears throat> You raise a really good question, and I've often said we need to be really careful who we turn our kids over to. Um, I, there's something that bugs me, and I've done it, I mean, just like all the rest of you, but we do things without knowing enough information. For example, you get on an airplane, so somebody's going to put you in a rocket going 500 miles an hour five, six, seven miles above the earth, if something goes wrong, eh, I mean, you're gonzo, and you have no idea who's up in that cockpit, but yet you'll get on there with your whole family. I don't know, maybe this guy is on drugs or was hallucinating last night or is horribly depressed or something. You just assume the government's checking and so everything's okay. Um, and we put our lives in the hands of somebody we don't even know. Now, I will say in later years when I get on an airplane, I would look in the cockpit, <laughs> look this guy in the eye, how are you feeling today? I'd say, okay, I mean, I at least did that. Um, but we got to be careful who we turn things over to. Like, do you, what do you know about the coaches, teachers, parents, Sunday school, uh, teachers? What do you know about people you expose your children to? And I'm guessing oftentimes it's probably not as much as we probably should know. Now. That's a long way of answering, mm -hmm. uh, is it Ann K? Ann K. Ann K's question. People need to respect your province as a parent. If you say, Our, my kids don't do A, B, and C, and we don't do D, E, and F with them, if people can't respect that, then they shouldn't have access to your children. It's just that simple. So you gotta ask them, okay, come on. Um, I, I need you to adhere to some guidelines, some values that we have for our children if we're going to let you supervise them. And if they're not okay with that, then you just don't do it. Now, be reasonable about this. Are things a little more lax at grandma's house? Of course they are. That's why they are grandmothers. That's why grandmother's love is so much fun. Maybe they take them to McDonald's. Maybe they let them stay up a few minutes late. Maybe they have ice cream or something. You don't always do. That's okay. What I'm talking about are core values, like do you spank them or not? What do you let them watch on television? What activities do they get to do? Safety, security, and their mental well-being. Those things you should put some boundaries around. But on other stuff, lighten up. Let grandma kind of fudge a little bit here and there.